Hey everybody, it's handkerchief day at, at uh, Everything Fanara. <laughs> I did two journals this week made out of handkerchiefs. This is eight by five and a half. And this was a, a gentleman's handkerchief that I got at an estate sale. And I just uh, sewed it and then I tied it with uh, sari silk. Let me get the threads off. I just put uh, a sari silk closure for it. This is part of a, a dinner napkin here, and then I just put layers of laces and different fabrics on it, little butterfly, and a collage of fabrics with a safety pin, and a doily behind, and I also put just a little flower image back there. And going inside, this is attached here. It opens up like this. Let me move this over. And in this side, I put, um, this is part of a cotton shower curtain, and I just left it plain. You can see the, the hanky stripes. It's a gentleman's hanky. And I put in um, an envelope. And this is an envelope also. It's uh, glassine, and it's got fabrics and a little tag here, and a cigar label and a stamp, and some sorry silk here with some cheesecloth. And I stuffed it with um, some coffee dyed mini papers for extra writing or need to put a note on something or whatever. It's to be used. That's uh, just a little short pocket there. And let's move that over. And then it opens up. Make sure I'm in frame here. I am. Okay. And then it opens up to the other side. And in this side, I put a nice big um, card. Uh, it's got some cheesecloth, and it's just different fabrics that have been sewn on. And then I backed it with cardstock for writing. And then I put one of these um, envelopes that uh, we make here. And I left it empty on the inside. And this is just a collage of stuff. <laughs> it's just different stuff, collages of uh, to write on. So you have a card here and a card here to write on. You could write here. It's going to make some really interesting writing. Every page has got a book page on it for the background from one of my old books. This is an old French book. I, I used a French book, a, a vintage cookbook that I have, and um, I think a vintage dictation book. So here's, yeah, I used two different French books. This is all the natural aging of those pages. And I put little scraps of uh, paper for some color. And of course the stitching you got the stitching around it and then the stitching on the papers themselves. Um, I like that contrast, so I did that a couple of times in here with the white and the coffee stain. Part of a crocheted doily over here. This is a, a little mini pocket, and I just left the coffee dyed paper and put a piece of lace here with one of the Tim Holtz um, stamps. And then a pretty image and another place for writing, and of course the paper from the background, and I just uh, left the edges of those papers as I tore them out of the book. You know, however they tore out, that's how I left them. I didn't try to trim them up or anything. I wanted the irregularity of uh, the pages. <coughs> Excuse me. Folks getting a little dry. Over here is a pretty, pretty lady, and a little image here. This is from a French book that I had, and the lady wrote in the book. She underlined things and she wrote translations over some words, so I thought that was pretty cool. And another card here. This is a collage of different fabrics and uh, cloth here. And this was a stamp and I just cut it in half and put half up there and half down there. I really just like the print on it. And a pretty image there. And over here is a is a card, and then I put this little um, 1891 calendar image here, some laces, 
um, some more lined paper. Over here is an old uh, vintage um, display of different platters of food. And uh, this is a French background. And it's got a little bit of stitching from the other side peeping over and then stitching all the way around. And another image here for journaling. And then a card here. A little mini booklet. And two ladies on the porch. Over here is a collage of papers and fabrics and a ledger sheet here with some lined paper that's been stitched around. And this is from a vintage book uh, dictionary uh, that I have. And I used a piece of ephemera with some real pretty washi tape and made a pocket with lace and then a lace ruffle there. And a coffee dyed card. And a pretty card here with some lace. A little pretty image. Pretty lady. And this is from an old hymnal that I have. Uh, the book is just falling apart, you know. So um, when you use old pages, you've got to be really careful because when you go to, to glue them down, they can tear in half. So you've got to do it really easy. A um, little white ad here and some stitching going down the page and some laces and a little flower that I made. Over here, so this is um, stitched all the way around the page. Got a real pretty image. See, I love that contrast. It just really makes it stand out. A uh, little uh, bouquet of flowers here. Some lined paper on this side. And it's got a real faint image on it. And then a coffee dyed strip there with some uh, little uh, image up there for blue flowers. Over here is uh, a card. Well, let's just undo it. Let's just undo it. It's got a couple of cards here, just like a paper stack. And then this lifts up. This really is the purpose is to hold this down. Um, it's got some lace, and this is part of that uh, Battenberg placemat. And I just cut the center image out of it, and it lifts up. And then you have um, some coffee dyed paper on the inside of the envelope. Get in there. Oh, it's just like a little a little paper stack and then I put this image of some blue flowers there and this is seam binding that ties it together and that envelope will hold more a lot more and it does lift up a little bit so that you can get your hand in here and if you wanted to you could stash something behind there a little hidden place tie this up quickly. A lot going on in this one. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, just, uh, this is a great way just to use your scraps. You know, this was uh, an edge of a card that I had, but the bottom half, my printer, the drum was dirty, so I got this big pink stripe going across. So I just cut that off and used uh, the image and the lined paper and some French book page. And then this is a little script uh, image there with the fabric. Another card here for writing. This is just here for pretty. It's got some roses on it. Um, and another image here. Got some... Uh, real pretty papers behind here on the French book page with a nice place to write. And then that's the fabric from the other side. It's really nice collages. Here's where she wrote again in the about the French book, something that she had marked on the page. Um, nice pretty image and then a nice place for journaling. Two cards here for writing some laces, bunch of different fabrics there. And then I, I really like that flower, so I put that up under the pages. Just nice little collages. I think when it's written in, it's gonna look cute as it can be. Nice card for writing here, and a little mini card with a, a vintage ad. 
There was so much going on with this page that I decided to leave just a coffee dyed, plain coffee dyed pocket. I thought that, you know, to put something else over that would have been way too much. So this is a book page, uh, part of a receipt here, and another pretty image for the contrast, just like that. And then a collaged card, which I thought went well with the collage book. This is a neat page. It's got, um, that is from that old hymnal, and some muslin here that holds this card that opens up for writing here. And then this one opens up this way for writing here. And it's cardstock, so it's good and firm. And then you've got a place here for some journaling with a little pretty image. And this has got some different fabrics in the stitching and uh, some lined paper here, part of an invoice on a French book page. <coughs> I'm about to get something to drink. Got a, a pocket here, um, and I just put that over it. I thought that was kind of kind of cute. I don't know why. Sometimes you just do things and you don't know why you do them when you're putting stuff together. It just struck me. Um, and then you've got an image back here with a nice card with a hotel letterhead. And then a pretty image with some lined paper on the back. Another collage here. Um, this is a French, um, not, a, uh, not a French, a dictation book. So I used that for the background. I just I really like the color of it and it's um, a nice background for the images on top. And then this is the fabric from the other side. And here we've got a lot going on. Um, well, you've got a, this is, this is a tuck spot here. And it's got a little collage of book pages and a stamp. And it has a little mini pocket, which has two mini cards. And then behind it is a tuck spot with two cards. And then a collage up under it. And this is from that cookbook. And then it's got a sheet of music paper and a nice page for, for writing. And this is just some really pretty fabric um, that matches the front cover. And I just, I don't know where I got this, but I absolutely adore it. But it makes a nice little collaged area. Another uh, Sapatcha lace up here with a journaling card and an image. And a little mini card down here. And this is a lace pocket with a flower with a little piece of gold there. And it's on that French book page that that lady wrote on. I say that lady because I don't know their names when I go to the estate sales. Got a pretty image here and here. And then this is an image of uh, swans. It's got a little gem up here. It's an envelope. And it's got a little a little card on the inside. I think uh, these are available in my shop too. I had made a set of them a long time ago. Uh, another card here. And uh, different things, areas, different spaces to write on. But wouldn't that be neat? Just have a little written there, a little written there. This is a great book um, if you're just starting out in journaling because you just have to start a little bit. You don't have to look at a blank. There's nothing worse for an artist or anybody that writes is to sit there and look at a blank page. You've already got to have something going on. But here, you know, you've got just a little space to fill in. It's a great way to start journaling if you don't journal. Nice image there with a, a tag on a French book page. And then here, I just left the back blank without any pockets or anything going on. This is actually a hole that was in, in the hanky itself, and I just left it because it shows its age, you know. And um, But it's, it was just a really a neat, a neato, bonito thing. And there's the front. With the, I put a little gem here on the inside. This is an old, actually, link that when I used to do jewelry, um, I made cabochons and uh, made this one. So it's sealed with ice resin. And then um, just a whole bunch of different fabric strips. And then that folds up. And it ties with the sari silk. 
And I do believe that is the last journal for this Friday. I didn't quite get the other one ready, and I'm working on some customs. So, um, got a lot going on, and I love it that way. <laughs> Hope y'all have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next Friday in the <coughs> next video. Bye-bye, everybody.